All right. So we're going to be doing activity seven, uh, procedure A, measuring the pH versus time with dark roasted coffee using a coffee maker. Uh, you're going to be watching this video and recording the data that I take during the video into your lab since um, it requires a coffee maker and a pH tester. So it says, use the darkest roast of beans possible. Since the nostalgia popcorn popper cannot roast beans that darkly, use commercially roasted dark coffee beans. Well, uh, I can roast on my rotisserie grill dark beans, and this is the Brazil. And so I'm, it's not commercially roasted. It's roasted by me, but that's okay. Um, so uh, get 600 milliliters of room temperature water. I've got that. Uh, record the pH of the water. And I've got my pH tester here. I'm going to dip it just into the level such that the electronics are not underwater, but the end of it is, so right about there. And uh, because this is just pure water uh, and not like the buffers that we were testing earlier, it's going to take some time. And this is actually uh, reverse osmosis water. So it's not distilled water, but it's the best I could get today. And the pH, see if I can show that to you. I'm keeping it in the water, yeah. There you go. So uh, when I first put it in there, it said 10. That was not right. I'm just going to take it, and it's still going down. And we're just going to wait for it. This is taking longer uh, because, again, there's no buffer. This is just water. It appears to have stopped going. Nope, it just went down, up, went down, went up. Yeah, it's stable now. So... Uh, this is going to be the pH of water. Write that down. Oh, and you can see it's shifting. So either of those values are fine. Or what's best would be to take an average of those values. Dry that off. Put the cap on for now. Then, uh, so we recorded the pH of the water. And I'm going to do that too. Uh, coffee type, as I don't know if you saw that, it was Brazil and dark. Please write that down under coffee type. Mass of water, mass of beans, grind time. All right, so let's start working on that. Um, says for this brew, use approximately 25 grams of dark roasted coffee. I've got my coffee maker right here. Um, I'm going to grind some beans. And I'll record the grind time as well. Everything's all plugged in here. Put the grinder right on my scale. I'm going to measure out 26 grams. Don't write that down because we're just grinding right now. Our grind time. Uh, which I'll record here. I got 10 seconds there. Plus or minus a second, I would say. So let's record that. Grind time, 10 seconds. Now I'm going to put the coffee maker on the scale. I'm going to tear it. There we go. Now I'm going to put the coffee in.
It's acting a little weird. So let's see if I can stabilize this a little bit. Waiting for it to tear. Well, it's not tearing very well. It keeps moving. It keeps getting heavier, actually, which is weird. Um, let's see if that helps. That does help quite a bit, actually. Decently stable. So I'm going to put the coffee in. And we're going to write this down. I actually get 26.0 grams. That's going to be 26.0 grams. Mass of beans. We'll put that there. Uh, mass of water. Tear it again. Wandering a little bit. But this should be pretty good. And I'm going to fill it up to the max line, as long as it doesn't go over 600 milliliters. Yep, it's almost exactly 600 milliliters. Perfect. And I get 603.8. Let's just go 604. It's moving a little bit, so we'll just round to the nearest gram. And checking out what we got here. Oh, I did fill it this. All right, so I'm going to take this off now. And blah, blah, blah. Brew the coffee. I think we got all our blanks filled in. Um, good. And I'm going to close this up all the way. I'm going to get my coffee filter in there, right? There we go. Don't close it up. And I'm going to brew my coffee and then I'll be back. All right, the coffee just stopped brewing. There it is in all its glory. Uh, I'm going to pour out 15 milliliters into a little cup here. And I'm going to set a timer. Uh, timer. And what we're going to do is um, I'm going to allow this coffee to cool. I'm going to for 10 minutes, approximately. Um, and then I'm going to uh, take another sample. And so this is the sample at T equals zero minutes. We're just waiting for it to cool so we can measure the pH. And we'll be back in 10 minutes. So it's been nine and a half minutes. And uh, so I'm going to turn on my pH probe. I'm going to swirl it in my coffee. This is my T equals zero coffee that's been waiting 10 minutes. I'm going to stir it for five to 10 seconds and then wait for it to stabilize. I get this value. Please write that down. And there's my 10 minutes. So I'm going to dump that out. I'm going to rinse that out with a, or dry that out with a paper towel so that there's no coffee there. Good. And then I'm going to pour my 10 minute sample. Oh, got a little bit much, but once it's out, we're not putting it back. So I'll start my timer again and I'll see you in 10 minutes or so, or a little less actually. Just start it back up for a second here. I went and got some. Uh, on my clean water, 
just gonna make sure I rinse this pretty thoroughly so that the next one will be not have the old coffee in it. Well, we've got 30 seconds. We've got before uh, we have to take our next sample. This is our 10 minute sample, so let's take the pH. Stir it for five to 10 seconds. And then record the pH. Seems to be pretty stable. I will clean this off. That's our 10 minutes one. And so I will dump this sample into the waste. I will take a paper towel and dry it off. And I'll take my 20 minute sample and set the timer for another 10 minutes. This goes much faster when we do it this way, huh? Uh, so that's good. And I just got this, which is all clean now. And I might as well dry this off a little bit too. Care, being careful around the glass part. And I'll see you in 10. All right, we're gonna give ourselves 45 seconds this time with the third one, I'm trying to test it. So um, put it in, stirring it around for one, two, three, four, about five. Seems to have stabilized. And what's that say? 5.98. Write it down. This is our 20 minute point. Nope. And away we go. Oops, let's turn that off. Let's resume this. This is going to be our 30 minute time. And I'm a little late. I only got 20 seconds left there, but. Got that. Dip that in the water, dip that, dry it off. There's our 10 minutes. And see you in 10. Mm. Hmm. Time is progressing. It's a, sun's reflecting off of the top of the coffee maker in my face here. All right, so this is gonna be the 40 minute one. And there's your value, 5.74. Let's rinse that, let's dump that, let's dry that off. And we still have a few seconds left. I'll go ahead and write down my value. There's 10 minutes. And let's start the process again. Dried everything off. Um, all right, a little late getting to it this time. Only 20 seconds left. There's that. Put that in the water, dump that, wipe it out. 
I guess we can get faster if we need to. And that was the 50 minute one. And uh, we just sample, this is the 60 minute sample, which will let cool for 10 minutes. About 45 seconds left. Turn it on, stir it around. Oh, that's good. And, nope. It went back up. All right, this is our 60 minute sample. It's been 10 minutes, 5.74. Rinse that off. Dump that out. Dry that off. There's our 10 minute timer and take another sample. Set the timer, see you in 10 minutes. Here we are again with about 45 seconds left to do the test on the 70 minute one. Give it a good stir, right at 5.66. Dump that out, wipe it out again. Good and squeak, squeak, squeak. And now we've got two seconds, one second, zero. I'm recording a video for my class. All right, here we are at 45 seconds again. Oop. Five point six six again. Put that in the water. And wipe that out. And just in time. Take another sample. And start. All right, 45 seconds left again. It really seems to have settled in 5.66. Rinse that one off. Dump that in the waste. Rinse that out. All right, see you in 10. Let's try this one more time. Give it a good swirl. Now we're at 5.58. And... Good. I can use that one again.
one zero. And set the timer. And I'll see it. Now, according to my records, this is the last one. Since I'm the one doing this, this will be the last one. Five point five zero will be our last point. And we'll call the day. Uh, call the lab.